Hey guys, so in this video I will be showing you my latest LEGO mock and this mock is 8 green base plates big uh, so it's pretty big by my standards, uh, not a huge mock by any means uh, but for me it's one of the bigger ones that I've done and as you can see it consists of a droid base over on this side a little bit of a battlefield right there and then you can see the Republic forces landing uh, attacking the base trying to take it over so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the mock all right, so I'll go ahead and start over on the clone side here. And you can see there is the gunship, uh, which is actually uh, flying. I have some clear bricks under there, so it is raised off the ground. And it is dropping off a bunch of 501st troopers uh, to reinforce the clones that were already here. Uh, as you can see, these clones kind of used uh, this hill as cover, but a lot of them have been taken out by the droids. Uh, there are two Jedi here as well. And I may be wondering why aren't Anakin and Obi Wan with the 212th and 501st? And that's just because this battle is towards the end of the war, so they're basically just trying to get whoever they can uh, for these missions. So they were able to round up a small squad of 212 clones, a small squad of 501st for some reinforcements, and they just got whatever Jedi they could to lead the charge. Uh, so you can see there are uh, two battle packs worth of the uh, 501st troopers coming off of the gunship. You can see you got some still running off, some have already jumped off. Then you have a jet trooper about to take off, and then another jet trooper already in the air. And then, like I said, you have uh, the two 12th clones right there. Looks like there are only two of them still alive, so the reinforcements are very welcome. And then uh, just two custom Jedi right here. Uh, this one uses just um, an Obi-Wan torso and legs, an Anakin Skywalker head, and then uh, Kai's hair from Ninjago. And then this is just another custom Jedi back here. And then over on this side of the mock, you can see there are more 212 clones along with some airborns. Uh, this side is faring a bit better, uh, less clones have died here. Uh, but since they do have some better cover, being able to hide in the trees and bushes. And nothing too crazy with detail in this mock, but I do like the way all the trees turned out. And I just love Lego foliage for some reason, so I always love the way that this stuff looks. And then this clone right here, you can see he has a sniper on his back, but he is currently using the rocket launcher to try to take out this droid cannon, uh, which is causing difficulty for the clones over there. So as you can see here, the droids did deploy two droidicas and a dwarf spider droid to try and combat the clones. And as you can see, they did do a pretty good job, but the clones managed to take them out. Uh, so they are, are all now in pieces and on fire. And I'm very happy with the way that all these look, especially the Dwarf Spider Droid here in the middle. Just love the way that I got this to look uh, with all the fire and it broken apart in a bunch of different pieces. And you may be wondering why this is just a bunch of brown plates uh, with no detail whatsoever on them. There's actually a good reason for that uh, because there is a gate to the base right here and it can't really swing open with these droids uh, right here since they are in the way. Uh, but this gate can open, uh, so it's basically the brown I just whacked the door spider droid. Uh, but all the brown plates are because the gate is constantly going over that terrain, so nothing can really grow there, so it just kind of gets all muddy. Then you can see some mud has piled up, uh, this, so this is where the gate would stop uh, once it is fully opened. Uh, and then that is pretty much it for the outside of the mock here. You can see there are some hills, like the one the clones are hiding behind, and then just a few other raised areas around the mock. And then the trees are mostly on this side, since um, when uh, like vehicles leave the droid base, they go in this direction. So uh, big trees can't really grow, so it's mostly smaller plants. But then over on this side, bigger trees can grow. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the uh, outside of the mock and the clone lines. So let's go ahead and take a look at the droid base. Okay, so the base has two major sections. You have the landing pad right over here, and then you have the little base complex on this side. And I already showed you the gate, and uh, on the other side of the gate, you can see there are droids firing at the clones. Uh, two of them have been taken out already, but the rest are still firing. And then behind them, you have a droid transport right there. And then you have the shuttle, um, the Nymodian shuttle from 2009. Uh, and that is actually getting ready to take the Separatist commander away, since he's basically expecting that they're going to lose this battle, so he wants to get as far away from here as possible. And then you can see there's a stat being deployed to try to fight the clones. And over here in the back of the landing pad, you can see uh, two pilot droids are talking. There's a security droid over by the shuttle. And then there's just some storage containers. There's a thermal detonator in one of those right there. And there's also two power generators uh, there and some cables or tubing uh, to get the power to uh, refuel the ships. And then there's also just a line of uh, light gray bricks around the outside of the landing platform to protect it from attack. 
and then there is one like auto turret right there and then there's another one over on this side which is currently firing at the clones and moving back towards the buildings you can see some droid guards right there already showed you the separatist commander and then there's some more droids standing guard at the doors and then here is that droid turret uh, that the clones are trying to take out uh, this is a custom design really like the way that this looks um, the windshield piece is very interesting so i wanted to use it for something so I built this turret a while ago and finally managed to get it into a mock. Uh, and then you can see there are some windows right there looking into that building. And then there's also a long window on the outside of the base. And then, um, so the actual base complex has these two main buildings. Uh, the smaller one here, and then the slightly bigger one over on this side. And this one has some commando droids on the roof along with an auto turret which can actually uh, angle. Uh, <laughs> there we go. You can see it can angle up and down, it can rotate. And then there's also just some fences so droids don't go flying off the sides as frequently. And there's also a ladder up onto the roof. And to get into the interior of these buildings, uh, the roofs pop off in three different sections. You have this long fin piece, which is just kind of like a little balcony cover, or not balcony, but a little like a porch cover right there. And then this building's roof comes off all in one piece, although this part does just kind of stay attached since there's nothing under it. And then this building right here, it's a little tricky to get off since there's all this stuff on top. Um, but you can see this just comes off in one piece as well. So starting here, this is just a little courtyard area. I can see there's a table, uh, some chairs, and this is a little like refrigerator area just uh, for the food for the one uh, organic life form that is in this base. And then you can see over here, there's a doorway into this building, which is the command center. So this is the chair for the Separatist commander, but he's obviously leaving. And he gets a little window to look out uh, uh, of the base. And then there are four droids right there, all with their own control panels, and they have windows to look out onto the base. They can see what's going on. And this is where stuff like the gate is operated from. And then there's just a droid commander chilling, uh, making sure stuff is still operating. And then across this uh, little open area here, there's another doorway. And then there are some more windows looking out into the base. And then this is actually the droid like charging area. So you can see over here there's another power generator like the ones outside with some tubing coming out of it to power the droid charging station. And you can see some energy right there being transferred from that side to this side. And then the droids are being activated to uh, help uh, the guys outside uh, fight against the clones. Uh, so you can see some droids are uh, already powered up, one's uh, standing up, then the others are uh, yet to be powered up, but they will be in a few moments. And you can see there's also just a weapons rack. That guy is grabbing his gun to go outside and fight the clones. And that's pretty much it for this building right here. Uh, I am very happy with the way that it turned out. It's pretty simple, but I really like the way that the droid racks uh, turned out. So that is pretty much it for the mock. Um, yeah, uh, so I really like the way that this one turned out. I like having the gunship over on this side with the clones running out of it. And I am very happy uh, with the way that I got the droid base to look. I like having the two buildings, which I don't think I've ever done, and then uh, the big landing pad, and then just all the droids, the clones. I, I love droids versus clones mocks, uh, so that's why I always build these instead of like Rebels and Empire. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this French it for the mock. I really hope you guys enjoyed, had a lot of fun building this one, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like is very much appreciated. And if you want to see more mocks from me, uh, definitely click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss when I upload a new mock video. And like I said, that will do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.